Hi guys, um, this is Lola here, Lola Joseph, you're welcome to my channel. Um, today it's about my get ready, it's a get ready with me video. It's uh, my makeup, just my makeup routine, this is more like my everyday um, spring summer makeup look and I'm going to be using uh, my favorite um, drugstore makeup product. I'm sure um, you, you've all known all these products before anyway, either from my previous blogs or from, from adverts and other bloggers. So anyway, let's dive into it. So before I start, I usually start with um, moisturizing my face. I moisturize my face and I use oil as well, essential oil as base every once in a while as base as well before I go in with other products. So the first product I'm going to introduce to you is this um, Soul Care Kiss um, Soul Care Transformation. I think what's it called again? Skin Transformation Cream. So it's such a very good moisturizer. Although, um, had to open. <laughs> Although, um, the only issue I have with it is it feels a little bit much more heavier compared to the um, to my regular what's it called um, the, the Elf Elf moisturizer. Elf moisturizer is much more lighter and much more easier to for the face. But this one is a little bit more a little bit heavier. But nevertheless, it does a good job on the face as well. It does not irritate your skin. Your skin comes out refreshed every day, every time you use it. So I always use it as my makeup base and it's whitish in color as well. It comes with a lot of um, um, essential ingredients. I think it has ceramides, it has um, hyaluronic acid and so on. So, um, so I'm going to moisturize my face now just to create a beautiful canvas for the makeup. Now that my face is prepped, I'm going to go in with my oil. The moisturizer is gone in, so I'm going to go in with my essential oil. And the essential oil that I use mostly every day is this particular one by, um, I think it's Pure Life. It's, it's called Pure Life um, Rosip Oil. So it's um, Rosip Seed Oil, which I really love. Um, but I, I got it from Amazon. I'm going to be linking it in the description box below should you be interested. So um, I'm just going to go with one drop. One drop is just enough for this. Um, for today's glam so just a tiny drop to give my makeup a boost you know so now that my moisturizer is gone in my rose sip seed oil is gone in my essential oil which whichever essential oil you prefer is gone in so i'm going to go in with my um, primer and i have this beautiful primer by um by rimmel it's called um rimmel lasting finish primer it's um i think it gives you a last a lasting finish makeup for up to eight hours i've been using it um not the best in the market but it's um it's doable for a drugstore it's doable and affordable <laughs> that's gone in so i now have i'm going to go in with my um with my foundation and this foundation is actually by makeup revolution and it's called um makeup revolution conceal and define foundation and this one is in the shade is in um f f 13.7 which if you heard the story about this my foundation issue um you would actually know that I got the wrong shade. This one is actually too dark for my skin. So I decided I asked um, Makeup Revolution to send me a new one. They sent me another one. This one is in F12.5. Yeah, F12.5. Also a little bit too lighter. It's more like for like a, a tan, a tan skin tone. I'm gonna swatch it on my face. This is um 12.5. And this is um 13.7. And 13.7 so, so the closest to my skin is 13.7 but it's a little bit too dark so what I do I just mix both of them together so that's what I'm going to be doing today so I'm going to be mixing the f13.7 and f12.5 so I'm going in with f13.7 now So I'm, I'll be going in with the F12.5. Alright, so 
so and because this foundation the conceal and define foundation if you look at the undertone of this foundation you'd see that they don't have much radiance in as much as they have they call them golden undertone yellow undertone because i'm golden undertone they don't have much radiance as i wish they can they should so what i usually do just to get a little bit more radiance in this um, spring summer season i use the same makeup revolution terracotta setting powder which is this one i love the golden yellowish kind of radiance the powder has so i'm going to be mixing it together with my foundation so i'm using my blending brush this um this blending brush is actually by um elf it's by elf and it's been doing very well as well so i'm going to go in with my blending brush so i'm dabbing the blending my blending brush inside the um inside the setting powder in terry butter and that is how it comes out as so i was dabbing it in here and this is what it comes out so i'm gonna mix it together with my foundation and um, that should give me this subtle radiance that I need the foundation to have. You see, can you see that um, yellowish kind of radiance? I just love it. I love it in my foundation. I'm not sure about you, but I think the foundation is suitable for um, a, a, fall, a fall foundation, for a fall makeup. Because in, in fall, we, we tend to kind of... Um, keep our makeup quiet if you know what I mean so they are more like a muted um, muted shade so that is what this foundation is it has more like a, a muted on muted undertone so just to add a little bit of radiance I just use the terracotta to give it a little boost if you know what I mean by a little bit of radiance a glow just to give me a little glow <laughs> you know don't always forget your neck when you apply your foundation just to give it a little bit of blendability you know just blend around your face around the neck uh, around your face around your airline so it doesn't stick too hard so what i do after blending it in then i use um the part of my blending brush which i've not actually dabbed into any makeup at all i'll just use it to tidy up the edges just a little dab around it will be fine with then with that you don't you don't have um a foundation line around your airline and um, and I think um, our foundation is well blended onto my face. So what I'll be doing right now, I'll be doing with my brow. So that's how I do my makeup. You know, some people start with their brow first and then their foundation. I start with my foundation first and then my brow. It's just my preference and it kind of matches my, my flow. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going in with my brow and I've got this beautiful brow, brow pencil by e.l.f. It's called um, Insta, Instant Brow Lift Pencil and um, i've been enjoying it i've been using it so for such a very long time now and it's been it's been very very it's been serving me well good um what's it called good formula and also a, a good um spoolie brush it's a very very soft spoolie brush so i'm going to be prepping my brow with the spoolie brush by just um brushing my natural air upward with that, you can have a better um, vision of um, where your natural air starts from and finishes. So just a little flick. Flick, 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 flick. So you just, it's a continuous flicking until you get the desired um, gradient. And you flick around your natural air. With that, you get a natural looking brow. You don't really need much of a bold, bold brow, especially the spring summer season. A little flick around the brow eh, just to mimic the natural air eh, is just enough. And as you can see, I've, um, I've already achieved the gradient that I need for my brow. All I just need to do is tidy up, tidy up um, all the edges. So, as part of um, tidying up um, the edges of your brow, it's um, it's always good to use um, uh, your concealer. You can either either use your concealer or you can use a lighter foundation. In this case, I have a lighter foundation, which is um, the um, Re Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in 10.5. So I'm going to be using that to tidy up my brow. Doing this will actually help your brow to be more defined. So it just gives that tidy, perfect looking sort of brow. So let's tidy up.
and once you've done this all you just have to do is a blend around your bl around the, the brow and with that you'll be able to achieve and it just come it just naturally comes into place well, if you know what I mean so. So I use the brush and um, sometimes and um, I finish it with um, with the blending brush because the blending brush sort of give you a kind of a better result. So I'm going to go in with my blending brush to finish it up. Um, my brow is done so I'm going to be going in with my concealer now just to conceal my under eye and um, give my face a little bit of lifting as well at the same time so I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer I think this one is um, F C10.2 C10.2 so Don't forget to use what's left over your um, your concealer on your on your high lids as well, just to use it as a prep to prep your eyes for the eyeshadow. So now that my concealer is on, I'm going in with I'm going to start with my eyes. So um, I'm using this beautiful palette by um, W7 Makeup, and um, it's called um, Bear Roll in Raw, and it's like a dupe for. Um, Uda Beauty's um, up, nude obsession in um, I think in dark, yes it's in dark. So I'm going to do a simple, sultry, easy um, spring summer look. It's pink. It's a they are all, it's a pink palette as you can see, but they are nude pink palettes. So I'll be going in with these two with these two shades. This one here, this one here, sorry, three shades. So this one here, three, this one here, and that one here. So this one is gonna be like a transition shade, which is the starter, and um, the darker one we'll, we're going to be using that to add a little bit of depth to the eyes, and then the, um, this um, dual chrome metallic rose gold one, just to enhance enhance the eyes. Alright, so to line my eyes, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolutions um, Awesome Double Flicker Pen. And this, I think this is in black, it comes in only shade. The beautiful thing about the pen is that it comes in two, it's a double pen. So, and they are both felt tips. One is big and the other one is um, a thin. So it's a liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the, the thicker side to line my eyes. So for my mascara, I'm going in with this mascara by Maybelline. It's some um, great, um, great lash mascara in blackest black, and um, the mascara has been serving me very well. So 
So um, with my bronzing, I'm going in with this beautiful Makeup Revolution Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in dark. And that's the bronzer there, that's the name. This is how it looks and um, this is the content. As you can see, I've been enjoying it and um, it smells so great and um, and I love the pigment as well and it's very very pigmented so you have to go light handed so I'm using my um, my blending brush what can I call it a bronzer brush so. and when blending your, um, your uh, bronzer it's always good to go in circle motion so what I do I go in with straight line while trying to carve the face and then I go in with circular motion while blending it so when carving the face you, you just uh, try try and use the letter three um, the number three to actually remind yourself so one so you just go number three <laughs> and that's it um, I actually learned this trick from Kim Kardashian by the way <laughs> so circular motion is done I'm gonna use my blending brush just to cancel out any ash line so I'll just dab around the edges so I'm going in with my blush so for my blush, I'm using this um, W7 Canned Blush, and this one is in um, Scandal. Um, I love the peachy shade of the of the of the blush. And with the placement of your of your uh, what's it called of your blush, try to avoid um, putting it too um, low. Just try and raise it up a little bit, and that should be that should be good enough. So I'm raising it up just right on top of my chin. the same thing to the other side and I think this one is actually it's a matte um, blush but very hydrating it's not so dry so I just love it and it's very very pigmented pigments enough for a blush you don't want you don't want to put on a blush that goes boah on your face if you know what I mean so it's pigmented enough for a blush a little bit of blush around my nose just right in the middle of my nose the my nose just to give you that um, easy breezy uh, Barbie flush face if you know what I mean all right so to set my makeup I'm going to be using this um, prime and stay finishing powder by elf and this one is in sheer so with my lips I'm using this um, exaggerate lip color by Rimmel London and this one is an addiction and um, I love the formula, it's very good. It's like a bronzy brown um, shade. Bronze brown shade with a little bit of pink on the tone. So. I'm going to prep my lips with a little bit of um, lip balm. So for my lip balm, I'm using this um, Kiss Soul Care comforting lip balm it's very i love the i just love the um the scents it has a, a vanilla scent and that that vanilla scent just sort of give you like a, a comfort feel i'm going to be using my lipstick and i've got this beautiful lipstick from elf um it's um i think this is um seriously satin lipstick in um in nectar so the nectar one is more like a coral coral nude shade For my highlighting, I'm using this beautiful sleek um, highlighting blush. It's got it's it's um, it's a blush along with an, as an highlight as well. So I just love the gold. It's in this one is actually in rose gold.
So to set my makeup, I'm going to be going with this um, setting spray and um, it's also a pigment boost boost boosting spray according to the description of the product <laughs> so it's called um it's um it's called makeup obsession pigment boost fix so you can use it to be, to boost your pigment and you can use it to set your your makeup i use it to set my makeup because it does work for me it works well for me like that and um what's it called and i i, I got this actually from uh, makeup revolution so it's called makeup obsession um pigment boot fix so i'm going to be going in with it it's very refreshing and i love it well, when you use it your pores just kind of get refined your makeup look a little bit much radiant and beautiful it's just so gorgeous i love it and it smells so great as well so so i'm gonna wait for my makeup to set to um for the setting spray to to dry all right so this is the finished look Alright, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to my video today. Thank you for coming to get ready with me. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. If you're a new subscriber, please do not forget to subscribe before you leave. If you're if you're a returning um, subscriber, thank you for coming to today's video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>